Rich People's Cop says Trump doesn't have to stop. Victor Willis, the policeman in the Village People, is defending President Trump's usage of the song YMCA at his rallies. Willis wrote a long Facebook post saying that despite once asking Trump to stop using the song, he had a change of heart and realized that Trump genuinely liked YMCA and was having a lot of fun with it. He also pointed out that the song hit number one on the Billboard chart after 45 years, thanks to Trump. <laughs> and let's face it, without the YMCA, we would we have been given the gift that keeps on giving? <laughs> Tyrus, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I, I never quite understood when artists suddenly become politicians and be like, don't play my music at your 250,000 people rally with, with Apple phones that can point and click and buy my song in a second. How dare you, sir? Uh, and good for him uh, to come out and support it because it's, it's really, it should never really cross. If somebody wants to come out, and especially to the, the level of fame that, that President Trump has, you're going to make money. Not to mention the fact the YMCA is just the one song, even if you don't know the words to it, because I don't. But when I hear it, I just know at some point you put a Y in the air, an MCA, and like you can fit it. It's the only song where like you don't even know anybody, but you all know the rhythm and the clap, and it's a good, it just brings people together. It's a genius song. The rhythm's good. So everyone should come out to it. I mean, even horrible bad guys could come out to it, and you'd be, and you'd still sing and dance, even though you want that guy's a monster on the stage. But up, oh, well, it's my part because it's just a, it's a fun song. Yeah, this was a long Facebook post. I had it printed out. It is two full pages. Yeah. It's long, wow. and the title of it is "Why I Allowed President Elect Trump's Continued Use of YMCA and Why the Song Is Not Really a Gay Anthem." <laughs> so, <laughs>